Unfortunately, some students would treat it as something demotivating when they get a lot of red marks. Top 3 on my list is that um, the worst part is that sometimes we forget the, the, the time limitation, you know. Um, yes, we are we are uh, re required to work during school hours. Like in my case, it's seven to four. But unfortunately, sometimes we work earlier than seven, or we work beyond four o'clock. <coughs> uh, that makes it tiring, and that makes that causes burnout as in some teachers. You no. Know? Uh, but the best part is, is that uh, most of the time though, but not all the time, we love what we're doing. We're doing it because we know that we are making a difference. We are trying to teach our students and we're trying to teach them how to do it well. That's why sometimes there are a lot of markings. Um, unfortunately, some students would treat it as something demotivating when they get a lot of red marks. but. Uh, sometimes I may, I may be wrong though yeah but sometimes my I, I always tell my students that the best time for us to commit mistakes is inside the classroom because the teachers do understand mistakes what is not okay is when we start making mistakes outside of the classroom when we go to the you know the proverbial real world the outside world because people are mean in the business industry people are mean outside and they will not understand your, your mistakes sometimes they would even say are you an engineer how come you, you, you don't know how to do this oh I thought you were you were an, an, uh, a medical professional how come you don't know this or worse is how I thought you were a communication graduate or a language expert or graduate and yet you're so poor in this one uh, there's some means so the be the best time the best place for you to become uh, i mean to commit mistakes is inside the classroom because what do you lose just some marks but not your reputation and your dignity right so it's better to experience them though because when you go outside of the outside world then i think uh, it's quite embarrassing for you to commit mistakes because you are expected to be educated. Even if you are educated K-12 only, oh my goodness, I think you are still expected to do something right because you are educated. And of course, we don't, we don't, we cannot discount that not everyone gets the education, at least the basic ones. Not everyone gets that. Not everyone gets to enjoy basic education, sadly. Right? Okay. So, why did I choose to become a teacher? I was not originally um, trained to be a teacher because I am not an education graduate. But of course, eventually, I took my master's in, in teaching. So, um, that perhaps sealed why I am now a teacher. But first and foremost, I enjoy sharing knowledge just like how I do it here in, in my channel. I enjoy sharing. Um, I enjoy talking to people especially young persons or young people like like my, my students because if there is that um, um, how do they call that altruistic feeling is that is that the correct word altruistic feeling that you feel good whenever students would say thank you I learned something from you sometimes teachers do not get okay sometimes do not get instant uh, recognition or feedback but the best part and that the heartwarming feedback that you can that a teacher can get is actually years after i i get that actually i get those kinds of twitter private messages direct messages from facebook or even in whatsapp and they, they, my students will say thank you very much mr fred uh, because blah 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 <laughs> So it, it, it is very hard one. Of course, you cannot please everyone. You know, there are also students who might not like you, unfortunately. And there will be uh, 
classes that do not like you, there are classes that they do enjoy your academic life. Yeah, nevertheless, even if you have those, those, then you just have to do it because that's what you signed up for, right? That's that's one thing I, I always remind myself. I sign up for this whenever I feel bad. I mean, I feel loaded and overwhelmed. I, I always say, I signed up for this. And I, I, I'm always reminded by that science... Uh, the scientist by Coldplay. Uh, whenever I feel I feel loaded, overloaded, uh, that that part of the song we say nobody said that it was easy, but nobody said that it was this hard as well, <laughs> right? So yeah, teaching is is a very good. Um, it, it, it's, teaching is is one one um, profession, if I may say. Perhaps it's not a job. Um, but we cannot deny the fact that, of course, it has to be an economic activity as well. Because at the end of the day, you have to feed your family. You have to have food on your table. You have to have something to pay for your for your bills, you know, your rents, mortgages, and all. But the best part is that, in my case, I enjoy what I do. Remember that famous saying that find a job you like and you never work for the rest of your life I would say that I did I am very happy to be a teacher and I'm always happy to be of service to my students okay so I think that would be part a portion of uh, some of my conversations with you on why I became a teacher the not so good ones and then the very good ones that's happening inside inside the classroom that what's happening in the private life of teachers you know? But more importantly, this is this is uh, one of the um, things that I would like to say in relation to the International Day of Teachers. Everybody, please take note that while we are very much concerned about the mental health of our students and the young people, we do hope that you also understand that teachers are humans too. Teachers also experience mental health issues. So I do hope that with this kind of recognition, you also recognize that sometimes there will be days that we don't, um, we are not in our element. Sometimes there will be days that it's a bad hair day, that we woke up on the wrong side of the bed. You know, that we need to take care of ourselves as well. My sh my previous shorts actually dealt with that. That we need to take a break as well as teachers. We need to, whenever you feel tired, do not quit. Rest, right? That's one of the best quotations I, I, I read lately. So, yes, uh, this is Teacher Fredo. Your, uh, I, I originally called myself plant teacher because I want to plant, plant, <laughs> I want to plant kindness and spread <laughs> spread positivity so let's uh, enjoy this day because this is our day teachers and of course I would like to give a big 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 shout out to all of my former teachers because they molded me as the kind of educator that I am right now um, perhaps in, in uh, I can I can just roll the names here again thank you very much dear colleagues who are teaching and making a lot of difference in our clients you know and thank you very much to all my teachers who uh, have molded me into what I am now um, thank you very much and because without you and without your inspiration I will not make a difference at all finally when the, the evening before I became an educator a teacher one of my former teacher Mr. Dr. John Jack Wigley mentioned that message me but after I, I told him tomorrow I'll be a, become a teacher he told me go ahead and touch as many lives as you can and the Dr. Wiggly yes I'm still doing it maraming salamat thank you very much terima kasih dakal pong salamat kaya kayo na bye bye